why worms? I think that's an excellent question. So worms are obviously far simpler as organisms than humans or mice. It's clear. But at the same time, there are living organisms that are very different than individual proteins or cells on a dish. And incredibly, as simple as they may seem, many of the fundamental processes at the level of their cell functions, development, physiology, and behavior at the molecular level are actually very similar to what happens in humans. So in this paper, we essentially use the worm system to screen for compounds that affect fat in the context of intact animals. And we succeeded uh, in discovering a number of compounds that made the worms either be more fat or less fat without any obvious gross changes in their health and viability. In fact, a number of the fat-reducing compounds allowed these worms to live a lot longer. If you look at the history of drug discovery, many of the clinically effective compounds were actually discovered serendipitously when they were administered either to whole organisms or, or people. And without any knowledge of the molecular basis of the actions of these compounds, but these compounds elicited desired outcomes. And scientists, doctors worked after the fact to try to figure out how these compounds elicit these outcomes. One of the compounds that we had discovered called F17 that causes fat reduction both in worms and in mammalian cells. We wanted to understand something about its mechanisms of action. So our logic was to screen for genes that are required for this compound to elicit its outcomes in C. elegans. And we learned that inactivation of a gene called AK1 blocked the effects of the compound. In other words, for the compound to be effective, the gene product of AK1 was absolutely required. So what is AK1? AK1 is a gene that encodes for a protein that is part of a complex called AMP-activated complex. The reason this was pretty interesting to us is this AMP-activated complex is not only present in many organisms, in yeast, in worms, in uh, flies, mice, and humans, it is already recognized to be an important therapeutic target. The reason for that is that AMP-activated kinase complex regulates energy balance at the level of cells and at the level of organisms because it itself regulates activity of very many other proteins in a cell. We were excited by this discovery because it told us that we can use worms to identify compounds that have never been described, that are novel. Nevertheless, they act on proteins and mechanisms that are of great therapeutic value in humans. And the therapies can be in the context of metabolic disorders, or in the case of AMP-activated kinase, actually also extends to cancer. So even though AMP-activated kinase is considered an important target, the compound that we discovered is a novel way of manipulating the pathway. So for us, it validated the approach that we have taken.